Honest J. Nowak. Coming at you live. All right. A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Honest Chain Nowak Graphics. And so, bringing this up, I got a feeling that this one's going to be more likable than all the other ones so far, because as I've said before, this one is indeed one of the best I've ever possibly played. Today we're talking about Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. Part 6 of 7 of today's marathon session here on HJN is going to involve Red Dead Redemption 2. And you know what? I'm more than excited to talk about this one because there's quite a lot to put together for an episode of HJN. A lot of things I could truly be honest about. And so, honesty prevails once again. Red Dead Redemption 2 is in fact the sequel to Red Dead Redemption from 2005 in which of its own type had its own sort of tangent take place including the Undead Nightmare DLC and plenty of other things along with a brand new Red Dead Online which of course seems to be exclusive to most stores online so that's pretty much the only way you can probably get that but Red Dead Redemption 2 however is a whole different story. Not only being a sequel to the highly acclaimed Rockstar title Red Dead Redemption, but also a huge upgrade, the way I see it, in story, in gameplay, in controls, in mechanics, in graphics, in environments, in variety, and plenty of other unique attributes and tropes can be found in quite a different way in this title. Red Dead Redemption 2 really has a lot to offer. You can never truly get bored with this game. I tell you, when I went ahead and picked this thing up brand new in late 2018, along with Spider-Man and Black Ops 4, while I was at a mall with the family, I never quite imagined that Red Dead Redemption 2 would in fact be one of the best I might have ever had the chance to play. The classic old western that takes place at the end of the 19th century and getting on to the 20th century. It was a time where the wild, wild west would no longer be as wild, wild as it used to be. Especially when taking place at the time that the Civil War was taking place during the 1860s and 1870s, up until the 1880s and 1890s, it was a big, big part of our history. America's history throughout the second half of the 19th century was as impromptu as most pop culture has depicted it over the years. For over 150 years, we've had a huge kick of today's cowboys and other such outlaws and six-shooter wielding people of all sorts. Red Dead Redemption 2 really is the modern capitalization of this exact sort of phenomenon in history. It was a huge deal, especially when talking about various things like Billy the Kid and Jesse James. But when you're discussing a lot of things about video games related to the Wild Wild West, then this one is certainly where you can never go wrong. And I will go ahead and explain why. This game starts off with its own story plus on online modes and many other unique playable modes that you can't play in this game, but the story is pretty incredible. Arthur Morgan, who is in charge of a ruthless gang, whom had recently escaped from their hometown in the western United States, is on the run from a bunch of lawmen. And the lawmen, of course, are relatable to today's police department. But back then, they were much different. They actually went in and upheld the law, just like they should have. <sighs> Arthur Morgan and company, though, they find themselves in a bit of trouble, getting themselves stranded in snowy mountain peaks while on their way to find themselves a safe haven. But soon enough, they eventually do find their way out, but not before capturing a rival gang's member, or supposedly what was declared to be a rival gang member, 
And this, of course, would be a pretty upsetting tradition that would pretty much appear for almost the rest of the entire story in the game itself. This one person who gets captured by the gang and basically interrogated and ruthlessly tortured. It's just one of a few unique modes of excitement that you could possibly encounter throughout this entire title itself. As the story progresses though, we do get to see a lot of things take place. It almost seems to be like an episodic series where episodically it would typically appear to be like having new adventures every now and then along with some sort of ending. But in this case, we're not really seeing all that. We're more or less seeing things that are different by all means. Red Dead Redemption 2, a rock star title that has been shown dozens of times over, has taken a long time to perfect, a lot of money to put together, and I mean a lot of money. This was in fact one of the most expensive PS4 games ever made in history. And I could pretty much see why. The story is unbelievably long. And when you take a look at the online modes on this game, Free Roam would probably be the best pick. Why? Well, it's simple really. You have all of the entire world to yourself, along with other players whom can play with you if you so choose to do so. Free Roam was basically one of the main reasons why I practically declared Red Dead Redemption 2 to be one of the best titles I've ever played in history, period. And it's certainly because it's not like any other open world environment online game. Red Dead Redemption 2 Free Roam has everything you could ever possibly ask for. It has its own unique progression system. It has its own honor meter to tell you if you're dishonorable or honorable by any means. If you let the marker which usually starts up in the middle, go down or up, then it indicates your honorableness, pretty much. Your honor, of course, is judged by what you do. The redemption part, of course, is what it's usually about. It's typically based on the kind of things that a gang would typically do, but up until the point where law had been established, an order had been established in America by the end of the 19th century. Most outlaws were on the run, hoping to escape justice. There came the time where an ultimatum practically had to be made to all of them. Either they turn themselves in, face justice for the things they've done, or they could try to change themselves for the better. Ergo, Red Dead Redemption. That seems to be the one thing out there that most people don't necessarily realize. The plot line of the story, the honor marker at the bottom of the screen, and not to mention weapon selection, currency selection, which includes money and gold, and not to mention a variety of other things to look out for. You can always bet that there's something out there that you might find intriguing about this game. The way I see it though, Throughout playing hundreds of hours of Red Dead Redemption 2 Free Roam, and then eventually getting along to the story itself, just to have some closure. The way I see it, it's certainly nothing too special, but yet, when you really look at it, it's not just about the story, or the multiplayer mode, or the open world environment, or the selection of weapons, or the variety of customization options for your in-game character, nor is it about the character lineup in general, or the actors who voiced them or portrayed them, nor is it about how anything else goes. Red Dead Redemption 2 is something that I've naturally declared this to be one of the best in the world that i played, is because it's one of those very, very, very rare cases that you can never get bored with. A game like this needs to have a lot of money paid onto it, a lot of patience, a lot of workmanship, a lot of perseverance, a lot of dedication, a lot of hard labor, and some trial and error to perfect. A video game in general like this 
would naturally take a long time to make and tons of money just to make it. Which, I'd say given this case being one of the most expensive ever made in history, Red Dead Redemption 2 by Rockstar from 2018 really does have any kind of perfection that you could normally look at any other titles with, but if you've given this a chance lately, I would seriously love to know more about your overall story and how you personally feel about this game in the comments section below. But the way I see it, it's still the second best because you know what? I will in fact talk about the first best game ever in my whole life, soon enough. But until then, if you want to see more, go down to my channel to make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.